today I'm sharing my top 10 favorite fidgets ever. I have everything from tangles to keyboards to jumbo DNA stress balls to some really fun types of snappers and poppets. So I chose the top 10 favorite fidgets from my collection. And I have a huge collection, which I am so grateful for. Please know that I am so grateful for my collection. Like it's honestly so much fun. But I wanted to do a video today sharing my top 10 favorite fidgets of all time. I actually saw my friend Sierra Zagari. She did this video and she was like, Nicole, you have to do this video. And I was like, you're honestly right because I have so many and I think it's time that I just put one video, my top 10 fidgets that I love. Give this video to 5,000 thumbs up if I should do my 10 least favorite fidgets of all time. Yuck. Let me know down below, give it a big thumbs up, subscribe down below to my channel, but let's hop on into it. I'm gonna do a little fast overview for you guys. You can see all of what we have in this video. So we have a bunch of stuff right here, okay? My keyboard popper that I love and my jumbo tangle. So I do wanna begin with the bang and start off with the jumbo chrome tangle. So Tangle actually sent me this and I literally died. Like, it's just like extremely thoughtful. Now this obviously isn't the most like practical one. However, I do have one of their tangles in my top 10 as well. Um, but it's my most like prized possession right now. It's honestly just so fun. And I just think it looks so cool. It's actually like art, Like this would look cool sitting in my living room. Like it would look amazing. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm considering decorating with it. However, I wanna play with it equally. So I'm like, we'll see. I actually might hang it up in my office. This is my office that I film in and make videos in now. I'm in my brand new house that I'm so thankful for. I have a house now, like what? Homeowner vibes? We'd love to see it. The future is female. Like, <laughs> oh my God, this shirt. I was like, this is a good shirt, right? Like we love this shirt, energy vibes. But energy vibes, what am I saying? I had caffeine and I'm just hyper today. Anyways, my jumbo tangle, okay? This is the coolest thing. What is this? You guys, this is like, it's life size. Literally here rotating. But it actually like stays, like <clears throat> if I just hold it up with one hand, it for the most part like keeps its form really well. It's literally, oh. Oh my gosh, it's so cool. Like how can this not be a favorite fidget of mine? And it folds up and it's so satisfying. Oh my gosh, come on. Boom. <laughs> Recoiling her up. Hey, there we go. Like this is like the coolest thing ever. Teacher is female. I don't know, I don't know man. Anyways, that's definitely my first favorite. I love that one so much. My second favorite fidget ever is the keyboard poppet. So at fun fact, I actually sell this exact same one in my store. Um, I sell it with white lettering on the buttons and without. Um, personally, I love both of them equally. To me, this has like, oh, I just love that it's a keyboard. I love how satisfying it feels when you pop it down, like even when you just push the buttons down like this, it has such a nice like crisp pop to it. And then in the back side, when you pop them back out, because there's like little like square columns in there, it really makes it like the best popping sound ever. I'm obsessed. Like I also just love to like, maybe, maybe no one else does, but I like to do that with them. I think it's fun, just kind of like crunk them together. <laughs> but I more so like to play with them that way. But yes, personally has some of the best pops ever. Like nothing compares to it in my opinion. And I think it's like such a good choice. So number two favorite, the keyboard. Number three, is also one that I sell in my store, but it's the Planet Popper. I love the shape, I think it's phenomenal. <clears throat> Even, I recently did a video where I did a Squid Games themed fidget review. Um, if you haven't seen it, go check it out. Um, 
but this is so good. I do sell this same one in my store. It's called the Zodiac Planet Popper, and it actually has real Zodiac signs on it. I'm a Cancer. I'm a, I'm a Cancer Virgo Cancer. Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. Aquarius, <laughs> if you're curious. My big six, if you will. Anyways, this one is my favorite. I love the pops. I love that it's a circle. It's super easy to hold on to. It's, to me, like the best sound ever. This is one of my favorites of all time. Like I will always grab for this one, honestly, or the keyboard for like a popper. They're so much fun. My, oh, my fourth, my fourth favorite is this I got from Mrs. Bench. It's the Squish, the Squish Attack three pack stress ball. It makes the literal best sound when you squish it. It's so good. I am truly obsessed with it. I love it. Like, I can't say enough about it. Like, it just has like the best feeling. I love how stretchy it is. Like, I can pretty much do whatever and it keeps together. Like, I'm pulling it like slime. It's so good. I love this one. So about all I can say, honestly, is like, it's phenomenal. It's phenomenal. Okay, number five, my jumbo DNA ball. This is rare and this is rare and so fun. I actually had to order this online because I wanted it so bad for my collection. So here we are. <laughs> say like it's gorgeous and I love it <laughs> okay next up we have this is it a pug I think it's a pug it's a pug stress ball now this is a recent addition to my collection but I just love how big it is and how squishy but it's like a very high quality stress ball honestly and it has like a nice like the inside texture isn't doughy, it's more like slimy, foamy vibe. And I think it's just so nice. So that's that one. Um, my one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, already. Eight, nine, 10, 11. Do I have 11 here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oops. Okay. I'll have to pick something out of the collection. Okay. Number seven is this. Pop in a cup. You're probably like, really Nicole, interesting. Yeah, Pup in a Cup is my favorite. Like, I actually have, um, I ruined one. I have a dinosaur egg one, had. I was just doing this. I wasn't letting them out of the um, egg. I was just like putting like the all the energy into one spot and I blew a hole in it <laughs> and then I kept doing it and then it like deflated. But yeah, I love it that much that I was like, I ruined one. <laughs> But yeah, Pop and Cups are so fun. They're actually by the same brand that makes Nido. So Shilling, I can't think I see it. Shilling, yeah. The same brand that makes Nido makes Pop and a Cup, I believe. Right? Yeah, I think so. I love it. I think it's a great fidget. Okay, next one it goes without saying the PBJs. One of my favorites of all time. The ones that Five Below sells with the knockoff ones are like not it for me, but these ones are so freaking good. Like, also my hand is like getting so sore from doing that, but it's just like seriously the best fidget ever. This is Lily. This, oh my gosh, this is the one that Kayla got me. Kayla! Oh my gosh, yeah. <laughs> so cool. And next up, we have a classic snapper. I, my hand is getting very sore, all these stress balls, but this is one of those snaps that you have to turn to unpop it. I prefer this versus the ones that you have to 
that pop in and out like at the same angle. I like when they get kind of stuck. Like the classic rounded ones are my favorite. It's like such a good fidget, honestly. Um, and then next up, I have to say, this Tangle, I believe it's the Series 3. It's like this gel looking one. Look at how good the quality is. Like, it's just so good. I just love these. Like when I first, when they sent me a package, I literally died. I was like, oh, they're so good. Like they move so effortlessly. It's such a rare fidget in my opinion. Like Tangles are one of those things that, I mean, I'm finally seeing them at more stores now, but nothing near me at least didn't have them for a while. But I just like literally love them. I love to refold them. It's like the most fun thing ever to like rebundle them together. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, whoa. Whoa there. Whoa there. Whoa there. Yeah. One of my favorites for sure. They just move so nicely and so effortlessly. And I definitely think I, I have um, 11 here by accident, but I have to share this one with you guys. So I recently got this keyboard, this like game control one, but these buttons right here are larger and they're more hollow, like low bearing and they make the best sound ever. Like, I will do this, like, on repeat at my desk. I don't know why, but I love it so much. It's definitely like one of my faves, but yeah. Look at how cute that is. So that was my top 10 slash 11 by accident. Favorite fidgets of all time. Comment down below if we have any of the same fidgets that you own, but you also have a similar one. I would love to know if you have any similarities to me. Um, but just you guys, if I should do my top least favorite, if I should do my top 10 least favorite fidget toy video, 5,000 thumbs up on this video, subscribe down below to my channel and comment down below that you want me to do that video because I really could, like I have some stuff that I cannot stand, like loathe entirely. Like, I don't know, man, but some of this stuff, like these little fidget ball things, like, you know, you know what I'm saying? I don't love them. I don't love them. <laughs> but yes, you guys, I will see you guys with a new video very soon. Love you guys so much and I'll see you soon. Bye.